But first, breaking news from Detroit, where three teenagers are shot in a firefight just outside a youth football game. It happened outside McKay Park on West Boston Boulevard at Otsego Street. Take a look here. This is video from the scene, and we know several people have been arrested in connection to the shooting. Let's go ahead and send it out to Victor Williams, who's live with more on what we're hearing. Victor? Yes, Steve and Sandra, these three teens are now stable in the hospital, but one thing that really stood out to us tonight once we made it out to the scene were all of the children that were there when this incident took place. With that, the chief is saying it's a miracle that none of those kids were shot as well. Cell phone footage shows just how chaotic a youth football game turned when shots started to ring out around 6 p.m. Sunday evening. It's, it's sad. Crime scene tape now marks the spot where three teenagers were shot outside of McCabe Field. A very unfortunate and unnecessary situation where you've got people uh, using gunfire to resolve whatever disputes that they're having. Certainly could have been a lot worse. Interim Chief James White says about 800 were in attendance in the stands, but while the kids were duking it out on the gridiron, an altercation took place on Boston Street right out front. Two groups. It looks like about a total of 20 people in total that were actually there at the time. Uh, the group uh, takes fire or gets shot at. It looks like at this point that they shot back, so there was an exchange of gunfire. In total, three teens, two 15-year-olds and a 14-year-old were shot and transported to the hospital, but are expected to be okay. Investigators on the ground and in the sky spent hours looking for evidence. Police recovered two weapons from the scene and detained six people altogether, four juveniles and two adults. We are confident that we've got some of the shooters. Uh, at this point, we don't know uh, who the shooters are. Uh, and who the victims are or if they're a combination thereof. Sadly, it's a place that Major Ellison says has certainly changed since he was a child himself. When I was a little kid, my father used to bring me up here to the football games. Now today, these kids in Lost stay, you know, they're on something totally different. You know, it wasn't like this, like it is today. And police, they want you to be on the lookout for a newer model brown color Jeep Grand Cherokee with the license plate EZK8554. Witnesses say they may have seen someone inside of that vehicle with a long gun leaving the scene. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Victor.